Hello, 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 hello. We just never want to scare you, you know? So we try to be gentle. We originally started this, we hit record and Ryder goes, Welcome to the podcast. I was like, no, 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 no. Yeah. It's kind of like walking through a door like Kramer when, <laughs> when totally. you start a podcast like that. So, okay, I'll just try to always keep note of that. Uh, it is a new thing that we're doing around here where we're going to add just some content for the podcast only. So we hope you enjoy it. Feel free to hit us up with feedback. We got a bunch of positive response from yesterday. So yep. let's do this. I actually would love to know what time people listen at. Like, hit me up on Instagram at the Lisa Evans or Twitter and just let me know when you're listening. I want to do a bit of a study on it. So mm. that would mean a lot to me if you could reach out. American Thanksgiving this weekend. Yeah. Are you going to be celebrating it? I honestly just saw a post from Traeger, which is like the smoker company that I I have, like the barbecue. Yep. Um, and they had a huge, delicious looking turkey on their post. And I'm like, I'm making a turkey this weekend. Yeah, like I'm not American, but any excuse or time that I can get away with having some stovetop stuffing, I am down for it. Like I don't understand some of these things that are holiday exclusive, why they're not a year round thing. Like turkey is so good. Yeah. And it's actually really reasonably priced as far as protein goes. It's healthy. It's lean. It's great with all the fixins or like in a sandwich. It's a it's a powerhouse meat. And like cranberry jelly. Like, I only eat that at Thanksgiving and Christmas. Why? Well, you look at your, like, eggnogs, even mint chocolate. Bailey's feels to me like it's a thing that I only really enjoy around the holidays. I guess that's because if I start drinking at 9 a.m. on your average weekend, I'd be a complete write-off yeah, most weekends. It would be but... um, known as a problem <laughs> instead of a festive thing to do. <laughs> Tis the sis. Yeah, exactly. But no, I do think my new snack when I'm just bored around the house is, is going to be, be a turkey. No, just stovetop. Do you know how fast <laughs> it is to make stovetop <laughs> stuffing? So you're just going to eat it like with a fork in a bowl? Absolutely. I'll eat it right out of the pan that I'm cooking it in. <laughs> put that in some Tupperware, bring it to work for lunch. Like, it is good. It's like, so good and you don't need to add anything to it. It's got all the flavor. Okay, I have an idea. All right. So get your stovetop dressing uh, and then just buy some turkey slices and then put your dressing in a slice of turkey and wrap it up and make yourself a little wrap. You know what I used to do when I was a bartender? We used to serve wild turkey shots dropped in cranberry juice and we called it turkey dinner. Oh, awesome. So disgusting, but also worth it for the buzz. So yes, it is American Thanksgiving, man. They do it right. Football all during the day. They eat their turkey on like the Thursday and then they can pick away at it for the rest of the weekend like we were talking with grant johnson he does mornings on cruise and he used to live with us and he was like you know you have a problem when you're going to the bar on american thanksgiving to drink <laughs> some beers and watch football <laughs> even though you don't have like a connection to it at all but exactly. emotional connection sure so yes i'm actually gonna make a turkey this weekend i think so are you ready for that yeah. Do they serve, do they sell stovetop year round? Like, I honestly have never <laughs> looked. I don't know. I love how stuck you are on the stovetop dressing thing. Yeah, uh, I don't care about the turkey. I just want the yeah, stuffing. I think they do sell it all year round. I'll really? get some. Yeah, yeah, I'll get some for you. They're only like a dollar, hey? Yeah. Wow. Okay, new diet plan. <laughs> Uh, so on the podcast today, we had a new episode of Unsung Heroes. We talked about what your name is. On like Urban Dictionary, it'll like how, what your name projects to other people. Yeah. It was pretty funny. We had a couple of really good callers that uh, thankfully gave us some time while they were out toughing out the roads. They were ridiculous this morning in Edmonton. Uh, thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends. We appreciate uh, it so much. And make sure to check out our show live weekday mornings on Play 107 from 5.30 till 10 a.m. This is the Ryder and Lisa Replay. Brought to you by Southtown Hyundai. Check out the Southtown Hyundai Advantage at southtownhyundai.ca. People are urban dictionary yeah. as to what their name means. Yeah, I've noticed that everyone's posting it on their Instagram story, which is cool. Like, I'm not reading it, but uh, awesome. I did us. I'll, we'll also open the phone lines if you'd like to know what your name means. Ryder, a badass, someone who is down for anything. After a fight, he'll yell, I'm a rider. Not bad, right? Uh, did you, <laughs> you wrote that. No, I promise. That's oh. what came up when I searched. Okay. 
So these are kind of funny. Yeah. Okay. 780-784-7107. We'll get to yours in a minute here. Uh, you want to do this? What's your name? Connie. Okay, let's see if this works. Connie, a kind, sweet, beautiful girl who is also surprisingly outgoing, yet lacks a little self-esteem. Did that hit close? Sounds about accurate. <laughs> <laughs> My spouse is laughing, so... Yeah, your, your spouse right. is like, yeah, that's what, Connie. Wait a minute, what's your spouse's name? Curtis with a C. Okay. A person who is worthy of a great many things. It is said that looking at one can send you into multiple orgasms. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, there's some disagreeing there. <laughs> that one maybe doesn't line up as well. Awesome. No, no. Oh, come on now. <laughs> come on. Sue. Let's see if this is accurate. Sue, a beautiful, intelligent lady who is determined to change the world for the greater good. But I can also be a hard ass too, so we've we'll, we'll got to put that in there too. Okay, do, can we? Do we have editing capabilities on Urban Dictionary? Can we add that in? We can add. Sure, we can add that in. <laughs> Thank you for the call, Sue. We appreciate it. Are you ready for yours, Lisa? I am. Lisa loves Italian cuisine. Oh my god, it's true. That's my favorite food. Never cleans her glasses. She is cranky when hungry and absolutely out of control when hormonal and hungry. And usually box dyes her hair. Okay. All of that is accurate except for the box dye. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> I like that that's the part you're offended by. Play 107. You're mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you, but it must okay. be it, it must be nice to just sit over there and sing along to Alanis and just hang out while I'm over here doing all of the hard work. Okay, hard work. So it's trending right now for everyone to search their name on Urban Dictionary, and we asked you to text in your name, and we would find out what it means and text it back to you. Ryder's not helping, so I'm doing all of the work over here. And then halfway through, when I was like pouting about it, not pouting, because it's not a big deal, it's fun, mm -hmm. and listening to our listeners' response saying, oh my God, it's accurate, is super cute. But I'm over here and I go, oh, can't believe I get paid to do this. <laughs> Yeah, like, like there's, you, there's some people that are stressed because they are a surgeon and they're trying to drive on these icy roads to get to work on time. Mm -hmm. And I'm over here copying and pasting ridiculous urban dictionary definitions that are clearly written by someone. Who like just has anyone. Been a, like there's a guy named Gary that wrote in and he's like, let me know mine. And the definition was just Gary's really good in bed. I'm like, someone named Gary <laughs> wrote this on Urban Dictionary. Yeah. Gary writes back. He's like, sounds accurate. <laughs> So you toughed out the roads this morning, putting your life in danger so that you could text people back what their name means on Urban Dictionary. Uh, and I would just like to say you're doing a very good job of it. Wow. Thank you so much. You're I'll, welcome. I will never forget your quote, though. That one time that we were just discussing randomly what your brothers do for work. Mm -hmm. And one of them's a really um, good lawyer who works for nurses. Mm -hmm. The other one's a leadership development coach who owns his own company. And then Ryder goes, I text people back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs> Mom and dad are so proud. <laughs> So the Bel Air reboot is ready to go, and they've released the theme song, which is actually like narrated by Will Smith and uses the same lyrics as the original, but is way more intense. Yeah. We're going to do our take coming up in a minute here, but do you want to hear it? Always. Yeah. This is a story all about how my life Lit. Turned upside down. I looked at my kingdom. I was finally there to sit on my throne. Oh, intense, the right? Yeah. It's like Game of Thrones so, energy. I wonder if, like, you grab any lyrics because the lyrics to that song I never knew were so intense. But when you put them in an intense format like that, all of a sudden they sound hardcore. Yeah. I'm going to start off with um, a 90s classic, mm -hmm. Arthur. Every day when you're walking down the street and everybody that you meet has an original point of view. Mm. And I say, hey, 
What a wonderful kind of day. Wow. If you can learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart. Listen to the beat. Listen to the rhythm. <laughs> The rhythm of the street. Wow, that was really good. Yeah, that's see, I think it is just that intense background music. Let me try one. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna go with Family Matters, I guess. It's a rare condition, this day and age, to read the good news on the newspaper page. Love and tradition, the grand design. Some people say it's even harder to find. So you really can't turn any show into a drama. Yeah. I got goosebumps from mine as well. Mm -hmm. How about you? Mm -hmm. Yeah? <laughs> okay, cool. Lighter and Lisa. Brought to you by Southtown Hyundai. Play 107.